Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out a 12 volt 100 amp hour battery from WeEyes. Uh, I know that there are plenty of reviews on this battery, but I wanted to see if they are consistent in their production. So I'm going to go ahead and run it through its tests and we're going to see what we have. But let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. All right, when you first open it, you're gonna see your post bolts and your post bolt covers right here. Styrofoam. There'll also be a small user's manual. And then the battery. All right, so here is the Wii Eyes battery. As you can see, it does say that it's a LiPo 4 battery and that the nominal voltage is 12.8 volts and this is a 100 amp hour battery. I do like the fact that it gives you the model number right here and then it gives you all of the information about the battery on the battery. You know how it gives you the nominal voltage, the nominal capacity, uh, the watt hours, the charge voltage, the charge current, the standard and max charge currents, the continuous peak discharge currents, and the operating temperature. I like how it's right on the front so you don't have to go searching around for a manual in order to find that information. The measurements of this battery are uh, a little under 13 inches across, about eight and a half inches tall, and the depth is uh, six, a little under six and a half inches. And it weighs in at 22.6 pounds. All right, when you first get your lithium iron phosphate battery, the first thing you should do is check the voltage at the terminals to make sure it is operational. So let's go ahead and do that now. And our voltage is 13.33 volts. Now usually I like to have it between 13.1 and 13.2 when I receive my battery, but 13.3 is no problem whatsoever. The next thing you should do when you get your battery is go ahead and charge it all the way to 100%. And then if you have the ability, go ahead and do a discharge test to make sure you get the 100 amp hours that you paid for. So I'm gonna go ahead and charge this up all the way, and then I'll do my discharge test and I'll let you know the results. All right, what I see with this Wii Eyes 12 volt battery is right at the very beginning, uh, you know, at 5% of the capacity uh, test, we're down to 12.89 volts, which is totally fine. It's just a little bit lower than what I'm, what I'm used to. It keeps that 12.8 volts all the way past 35% uh, of the capacity test. So that's pretty good. And then when you go all the way down to like the uh, 90th percentile of the test, we're still at 12.3. And if you look at like the, the 95th percentile, uh, we're still above 12 at 12.13. So that's pretty good, that's a, nice, that's a nice curve. If you look down at the bottom, you can see that the capacity of this battery was actually 104.95 amp hours. Uh, that means the energy was 1326.83 watt hours. So that gave us an average of 12.64. So let's go ahead and start our high amperage testing. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start up the high amperage testing for this Wii Eyes 12 volt battery. So let me show you what I have set up. Okay, here is the 100 amp hour 12 volt Wii Eyes battery. I have it connected to a 5,000 watt pure sine wave inverter from MX Moonfree. I have an amp clamp right here, which currently reads about one amp coming out of the battery. Uh, and I also have a voltmeter that shows 13.42 volts coming from the battery right now. I have my timer, because we're gonna be using that to do this test. And I have it connected to my, uh, my New Wave induction cooktop. And then back there is a 1000 watt heater. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and turn on that 1000 watt heater for five minutes just to make sure it can power it with no problem whatsoever. And then I'm gonna start increasing the amperage and wattage by uh, introducing the new wave cooktop by putting in 600 watts, 900 watts, and then 1300 watts. Uh, the battery really should shut off when I apply that 600 watts, but we'll see. So let's go ahead and get this test started. All right, we're turning on the heat gun. Starting our timer for five minutes. There we go. And you can see that the voltage has dropped down to 12.6 and our amperage is at uh, 103 amps coming from the battery right now. So we're gonna go ahead and let that run for five minutes and then we'll be right back. 
All right, well, this test has been running for five minutes and 25 seconds. We're still pulling 104 amps, and the voltage of the battery is now down to 12.43. But this battery has handled this 100 amps without any problem whatsoever. The connections are just a tad bit warm, but I mean, I'm talking maybe, maybe body temperature warm, no big deal. So let's go ahead and introduce 600 watts and see what happens. There we go. Uh, the amperage is up to 170 amps. We are down to 12 volts. And this battery does say it can run 200 amps for three seconds. So at 170 amps, it's definitely running it for longer than that. I'm gonna go ahead and wait until it reaches seven minutes. And then we'll go ahead and bump the uh, new wave up to 900 watts. All right, well, it's been seven minutes and it's still running. We're right around 170 amps still. Our voltage is at 11.98, so basically 12. So let's go ahead and bump this up to 900 watts. There we go. And our amperage is now up to almost 200. Voltage is at 11.8. We are at seven minutes and 27 seconds, and we are almost right at 200 amps. And uh, this is still running, so I'm gonna wait until it gets to like 745, 750, and then I'm gonna bump up the new wave all the way up to 1300 watts, and this battery better shut off. All right, it's 750. We're still doing 200 amps. Our voltage is 11.77. Let's go ahead and bump this all the way up and see what happens. All right, there we go. Amperage is now 230. Voltage is down to 11.6. We are at eight minutes and 15 seconds. Let's let this run until like 8.30. It should be off by now. It says that it can do 200 amps for three seconds and that is definitely not the case. Yeah, uh, 8.30. Our terminals are still not hot at all. And, uh, but we're doing 230 amps and this battery is still running this low with no problem. So let's shut this down. And actually I wanna know when this shuts off. All right, it's been nine minutes. We're still doing 230 amps. Voltage is down to 11.5. I'm gonna introduce another thousand watts. So let's just do this and see what happens. All right, we got beeping. We got 318 amps. Our voltage is 11. We are at 930. The, uh, the inverter is beeping because the voltage is so low, but we're doing almost 3,000 watts. And this thing is still not shutting off, and it's 9.45. It's been 15 seconds at 317 amps. Yep, we're turning everything off. All right, well, this uh, Wii Eyes battery does say it can do 100 amps continuous, uh, and it does that with no problem, but it does say that it can do 200 amps for three seconds, and that is not the case. It can do over 300 amps, and it still won't shut off. So be very careful if you're gonna do over amperage on this battery. I highly recommend you put in a uh, 100 amp fuse on the line between your battery and your inverter. That way, uh, you don't have any issues. All right, the next thing we're gonna do with this Wii Eyes 12 volt battery is do the cold temperature charging protection. So I'm gonna put it in my ice co refrigerator and I'm gonna set that to about 21 degrees Fahrenheit. That should make it so this thing is staying steady at around 25 degrees Fahrenheit uh, when I pull it out tomorrow. And then we'll try to charge it to see if it actually uh, has that safety feature. All right, well, this Wii Eyes battery has been sitting in that freezer for the past 24 hours. And let's go ahead and see if it has cold temperature charging protection. Connect my negative. And right before I, and right before I connect this positive, you can see that the light on this charger is blinking green. That means it's, that means it's on standby. Uh, what's gonna happen is once I connect it, it's gonna go to a solid red. 
and within a few seconds it should go from a solid red to a solid green because the battery is telling the charger to stop charging. So let's go ahead and try it. Solid red and a solid green. That does mean that this battery has low temperature charging protection. All right, so let's take a good look at the inside of this battery. All right, and it is very, very, a very basic battery. Wow. Uh, you can see that the BMS is actually on the side of the battery, and that way all four cells, they're prismatic, they're right here. We have a little bit of padding on the top. We have high density foam on the sides, and then more high density foam uh, on the top of the lid all glued on. We got a little bit of glue on the negative and positive terminals, which is good. It looks like we might have a, maybe a five gauge uh, positive and a pair of, uh, we have a pair of eight gauge uh, negative wires. All right, and what we have is a QR code on top of the BMS. We also see a couple of uh, eight gauge wires going from the BMS to the uh, actual cells, which is good that it's, it's consistent. Let's see, we have our balance leads going right here to all individual cells. Uh, we have some fiber board between the BMS and the cells. We have fiber board on uh, actually almost on all sides except for the bottom and we, then we have this strapping. Uh, this is the, uh, I'm guessing this is the, the cold and hot temperature uh, sensor right here. And it looks like it is, it's glued right onto the cells themselves as well. So that's good. Uh, everything has glue on it where it needs to be glued to keep everything in place. So nothing is moving around. Uh, there is a uh, an expansion spot right here on the bus bar, so that's good. It, it allows for a little bit of expansion if needed. Uh, unfortunately, I can't get a QR code on the cells, but they look good. I know that really doesn't explain anything, but... And it looks like the bus bars are welded on. They're not just bolted in, so... All right, so if you have any questions about the 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery from Wee Eyes, please go ahead and leave them in the comments. Uh, I'll have a link to this item in my description just in case you wanna look further into it. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day. Bye-bye.